Hello and welcome to the December update from the Tao team. You're here with me, Fola. And without further ado, let's get into your Q&A questions. All right. And the first question is from Omni user. And the first question they ask is, for those who kept their Agora's tokens on Omni wallet, could they add their tokens directly on Agora's Live similar to MetaMask wallet, or should they need to convert it first to an ERC20 token to be stored in a MetaMask wallet? About Omni Wallet, currently Agora Live supports uh, only uh, MetaMask and the like wallet, so you can use Omni Wallet. But we'll look into supporting Omni Wallet if it's possible uh, in the application later. All right, fantastic. Oh. Thank you very much. And the next question they ask is for the transaction fee or gas fee, would it be paid in Agora tokens or do users need to rely on Ethereum tokens? I hope it would be low transaction costs. Yeah, for the transaction uh, costs, uh, initially, uh, of course, it will be Ethereum tokens, uh, and we will look into the options with the lowest uh, cost possible, and uh, eventually, I hope, we'll come to uh, paying in Agoras tokens uh, in our own uh, blockchain. All right, fantastic. Thank you so much, Andre. And the next question is from Sir Language. And they ask, they've got two questions here. The first one is, would participating on discussions on Tao be as simple as chatting to your friends in a group, Messenger, Telegram, and posting your opinions like on Facebook? Or do they need to painstakingly define each word like it is a verb, noun, or adverb? And do they have to think it's present, perfect, future tense, etc.? If so, I'm afraid people will not use complicated tools for discussions. It's not usable. People need to just discuss things and not think about grammar. But if they just discuss the natural way we discuss on a group chat, then I'm very much impressed by Tao. Well, it's somewhere in the middle. After all, you need to talk in a way that a computer will understand you. So I think you are speaking to a robot. It's not like speaking to uh, normal humans. It, it doesn't mean that everything has to be uh, to look completely like programming language. There are a lot of existing uh, ways to to translate natural language to uh, something that computers can understand. But of course, it's not perfect. So it will be somewhere in the middle. All right, fantastic. Thanks, Ahad. And the next question they ask is, what do you mean by controlled natural language? What do early participants need to know about controlled natural language so that they can effectively participate sharing their knowledge on TAP? Controlled natural language is to have a formal language in a way that uh, sentences in, in that formal language are also natural language sentences or very close to, to them. So it is a structured and a natural language. There are many controlled natural languages and we will develop one specifically for the Tao language. Thank you very much, Ahad. And the next question is from Sir Belford and they ask, why is it that consensus of facts is a weak form of consensus? Is there another form of consensus which is stronger and more desirable? If so, why is it stronger and desirable? So for example, um, you can tell whether a set of facts is a, a subset of another set of facts, but to say whether a rule is a special case of another rule, um, that's of course stronger, but even more importantly, we want to have a consensus over a software specification for how to be defined by its users. And you cannot really specify a software simply by facts. You need some rules that connect the current and previous uh, timestamps to, to the next timestamps. And so you need a much deeper level of uh, citable consensus in order to allow sort of collaborative software specification. All right, fantastic. Thanks, Ahad. And the next question is from Sir Clandestine. Do users need to study something in order to effectively participate on a large discussion using controlled natural language, Tau language on Tau chain? Are there any documentation materials for users to study? Initially, yes, they, they will need to study and there will be some editor that helps interactively the user to 
to encode what they want to say, but it will become easier and easier over time, as we can see from existing um, tools for, let's say, natural language processing becomes better and better. The computer will never be exactly like human. The gap closes. Uh, for now, we still uh, don't have uh, such kind of documentation. And the next question is from Sir Andrew. Lots of sirs asking these questions these days. And they say, I hope the Tau user interface is so engaging and enjoyable that people will really spend a lot of time using it. If you have a very powerful Bugatti engine, but you don't have the car for the person to drive it, it's practically useless. Tau can learn from ChatGPT in the sense that it gave users a very flashy UI, that it caught public attention. Public perception is just as important as the actual technology. David Shapiro. I hope the team will create an awesome UI. Great team. Cheers. Yes, of course, uh, UI is important, like in any software or any technological product. And of course, um, and we will need to put a lot of effort to a nice and uh, convenient UI that goes without saying. Thanks, Ahad. And just to add to Ahad's point, we are working on a design for Tau already. Uh, we've been working on that for the past couple of months, and uh, we hope to show the team uh, sort of the uh, community as soon as possible. And the next question is from Jose Rizal, and they ask, let's say Tau achieves a knowledge base with thousands of ways, methods, and solutions or techniques in arriving for an answer. Throwing this to users who ask questions is nuance, not utility. What is the difference to Google's thesaurus giving users millions of links containing such keywords? How would Tau provide answers without giving heavy load to users by bombarding them with such enormous results? What Google does is basically textual search with, uh, like the Zauros, indeed, in the white paper, I think in the white paper, they maybe somewhere else, uh, we spoke about Google search with open te uh, thesaurus, but um, semantic search is very different. In uh, semantic search, you, you have an engine that understands the meaning of whole complex ideas, not just uh, simple words you will be able to query based on the meaning of the content, not just textual search that may be enhanced with the thesaurus, but it is still not aware of the meaning. Fantastic. Thanks so much, Ad. And the next question is from Mr. Ferrari. Bugattis and Ferraris mentioned on this Q&A. GPT is at capacity right now. I think it'd be... I think it can't be used by many people at once, so they have to limit it. How many people can use Tau Chain Agora's, and Agora's Live all at once? How much is the limit. Will we encounter the same problem in the future, like slowing down of the system due to many users using it all at once? Um, yeah, I experienced the same frustration trying to use Chat GPT. I had to try several times before I uh, got through. The so Chat GPT is very much a centralized. Uh, solution in terms of its uh, computational platform. Uh, but it, by contrast, Tau will be a distributed uh, computing platform. So Tau will run on everybody's uh, computers simultaneously. So, and we've designed it from the core to be uh, scalable that way. So uh, yeah, hopefully it will not run into uh, the same scaling uh, problems that centralized solutions often do. And the next question is from Mr. Moonshot, and they ask, does Agora's Live have the same website address as Tau.net? Did you place security against cyber attacks? How can you defend the project from other fake websites like what happened previously? Well, we can't stop people from creating fake websites, um, but we can notify the community when we do see them. And we hope for the community to be able to um, notify each other if they think a scam is uh, in our midst but we can't really stop people from creating clones um, beyond reporting them and, and notifying uh, everyone that they, uh, what, what they've seen. Yeah, regarding the cyber attacks, uh, you can't really do something uh, from fake websites. You can create an application that runs on, on your desktop or mobile and, and this will secure it. But all websites, including uh, even cryptocurrency exchanges, suffer from uh, such scam sites that, for example, can change one character in the spelling. And when you type a wrong address, you get this uh, phishing site and all you can do is to report it. And of course, uh, to prevent uh, you from entering your credentials, you must use uh, different security measures such as one-time passwords, uh, authorization via your phone or authorization via uh, your email, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. All all those tools are good, and of course, uh, we will use as much uh, tools as possible to prevent uh, such uh, such scams, phishing, uh, just like anyone. 
All right, cheers, Andre. And the next question is, will you give away free tokens for public testing of Agora's Live, alpha scaling discussion, the computational resources market, and the Tau mainnet? Of course, for public testing of Agora's Live, uh, we will uh, give away free tokens. It's not possible to test it without any free tokens. Of course, we have such plans. Uh, as for other parts, I'm sure we will consider it also when it comes to it. All right, fantastic. Thanks, Andre. And the last question is from nerds, and they ask, does Tau use elliptical curve like Bitcoin to secure its transactions, or is it better? If so, can it defend the system against quantum computer attacks in the future? The news talks about quantum computing's possibility to break Bitcoin in the future. How can you defend against such an attack in the future? Uh, yes, so Tau uh, chain will use the same uh, encryption uh, primitives as uh, those are used by most other uh, blockchains because that's really the best policy right now because uh, developing your own encryption uh, primitives is really not uh, advisable uh, thing to do. Uh, and in terms of security, they're extremely secure right now. Uh, in terms of um, quantum resistance, I mean, that's a problem that everybody will face. However, I'm not too worried about quantum computers becoming a reality within our lifetime, you know, despite all the hype that's um, going around about quantum computing. I, I really don't think uh, we're going to see quantum computing um, anytime soon. But even with respect to quantum computing, yes, there are plenty of algorithms that are quantum hard, basically, that even quantum computers cannot break. So in the future, if probably, yeah, not in our lifetime, uh, when quantum computers become a reality, yeah, there's plenty of encryption primitives and algorithms that are quantum hard that probably everybody will have to move to, but yeah, they already exist. Fantastic. Thank you all so much for your Q&A questions. We will see you in the new year. But before that, tune in to the business team and development team update. Cheers.